Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new feature of the programme which is untitled at the moment. Yeah. It's uh, Basically we just thought we'd, we'd have a little section once a month where we all sit down and just discuss what we've been up to paranormal wise, um, any comical or interesting paranormal news stories which there's always plenty of. Um, just a little sit down and a chat really. Um, last couple of weeks we've been filming series 5 which I think is going pretty well so yeah. far. <laughs> yeah. Very happy, we've caught some good stuff actually. Um, so I'm really, really excited about that. Any thoughts on what's coming up with that whole thing? It's looking good. I can't wait to actually start seeing the episodes put together. Yeah, it's it's definitely like opening your mind up to more. That's it. Stuff, I think really. I, I think it's the best one we've done so yeah. far. And we've like, so we've caught some absolutely outstanding stuff yeah. at the yeah. moment. EVP for some reason has been brilliant this time round. Yeah, it's it is strange, isn't it? How like sometimes you you get something and then you get nothing, and then all of a sudden you get loads of stuff. Yeah, things. yeah. Which I mean, we just came out of a patch of like I don't know six months of not getting anything whatsoever, and then just going in all of a sudden. Last two times we've yeah. been out, and when you've mm. come out as well, it's just all of a sudden exploded with things happening. Yeah, it's a bit of a dry spell, wasn't it? Yeah. But that's over now. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna get moist. <laughs> um, so yeah, one thing that well on our new series we did film an episode at Horseheath and Barlow, where I'm sure if you've seen videos you'll you'll know we've been there a couple of times before. What was really interesting is um, something James and I started talking about was we didn't actually pick up on any activity there. Still watch the episode though. <laughs> But no, we didn't pick up on any activity there in Horsey. If I've not recorded anything paranormal for probably about a year and a half, and it used to be such an active place, you'd get EVP there, EMF readings, all kinds of different things, and all of a sudden it just stopped. Yeah. Why? Well, even in the case you saying we didn't get anything, but still watch the episodes. I think it's genuinely it's a good idea to still watch those episodes. Oh, it's definitely. Ends up. It, it wasn't even a thing of fight, like having things happen, but the things that we ended up discussing while we were there and like different situations that ended up happening that led to us coming to different it's, ideas about like it's almost huge like, ideas. It's almost like what didn't happen yeah. made more questions and it, Yeah, it definitely opened happened. up your mind to more questions of possibilities of, you know, why didn't it happen? And it's also made us go down a different route of um, like, you know, thinking of why stuff didn't happen. Yeah. yeah. It's we definitely made have, us ask a lot. We probably wouldn't have got to that point well, thinking about stuff like that. If, if, yeah. If what, yeah. what did happen didn't. I mean, yeah. hauntings must run out, I reckon. Hauntings just have to stop one day because why don't we ever see, why does no one ever seem to see Roman ghosts or prehistoric mm. ghosts? Yeah. You don't ever see any cavemen ghosts. That's see, what I mean. It doesn't happen. But, like, it's got to just kind of fade away. And exactly. Like, or, it is literally like a battery or we're, just... we're no, no longer able to detect certain things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder if maybe investigating certain places that are sort of more, more of a low energy or, I don't know, resonating on a different sort of field, maybe you can wear it down over time if you yeah. keep investigating somewhere and interacting with things. We really talked about the idea of like a, almost like a battery that each location mm -hmm. has with, this en with the sort of paranormal energy and after time that just gets worn away. It yeah. must be. Well, I guess the more people would go there and investigate, it's kind of, you know, it's like the more you film, the more your battery drains. So yeah. it's the more you yeah. show yourself and create activity, the weaker you get kind of thing. You yeah, it's, just... it's really interesting. Cause, uh, and the other thing that's kind of made me a little bit happy is a lot of people mention about some of the readings you got on EMF meters and, and stuff like that is merely, I don't know, like stray radio signals yeah. and stuff interfering mm -hmm. with it. In the year and a half I've not recorded any EVP or any other activity at Horsey, I've not had one EMF spike at all. And mm. that used to be every time I go there I get stuff. Yeah. It's just stopped, which kind of made me happy that I was detecting something unusual. Yeah. But yeah, it makes no sense whatsoever to me. Yeah, it helps to validate the times when you have gone there. Yeah, I've got stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the thing, it makes it a lot more believable that we are genuinely doing this like out of curiosity. It's not like a a fake, you know, like most haunted. <laughs> I was gonna say that, but not the, like most other sort of yeah investigating. Yeah, stuff. I mean, we were always, we're pretty serious about the whole thing. Yeah, we do have a laugh a lot of yeah. the time as well. But, but it's it's once we're there, we're in the mood and we're good and our mindset and we just kind of yeah, go with it and yeah. focus. Um, I've definitely noticed this. Like when we can be like this for the sort of hours leading up to it. 
if you're going to the pub or something and just yeah. sort of settle in. But as soon as you get to a location, a lot of times it just sort of like yeah, clicks. It's literally yeah. Like a lot of times it's just stone. suddenly you get into like mission mode and you suddenly feel like looking at everything. Yeah. Yeah. Ears perk out, it's just yeah. like yeah. waiting for something to happen. It's, ge- it's genuinely like an actually, actual feeling yeah. as well. It's, it, even when, um, like when we went to uh, Upton's mansion, like we were going around and there'd be some areas we were in where we just nothing was happening but you didn't even feel like that's, anything was going to happen that's another thing that I've thought that's a bit weird why when people say they feel stuff in haunted places what is it they're feeling like yeah. is it is it a spiritual energy or is it changes in the environment caused by an energy I, I would say it's, it's changes in the environment I don't know whether caused by an energy but it's definitely you can yeah. feel the changes in the environment like it takes over like your, yeah, whole, body, but your whole body just feels completely different I mean, it would be interesting to try and work out what the changes are because we know temperature sometimes has a like temperature will drop or rise depending on if someone's there or something's there yeah like what other stuff that we're not trying to detect at the moment is causing that it's things i've heard a lot of people say before is like when when you're in a location that does have energy it's almost like walking into a room after there's just been an argument or there's mm. just been a fight yeah. or something you can, you can like feel, feel the bad something vibe, still yeah. there yeah it's but it's just yeah. It's, it's like the atmosphere is really either tense or really sad. Like you can you can feel, like your your body feels how the atmosphere is yeah. kind of thing. Like you take on those emotions and that mood and. But it's not always the environment you're in. Sometimes because we've been to places, walked into a room and it feels weird, and we've come out and we've gone back again, expecting it to feel the same. And it doesn't. And it, and it, and it doesn't, which yeah. means it's not like feeling claustrophobic. Or it's not mm. feeling creepy because you're in a odd room. Yeah. It must be something else there. I think the only way you could sort of look into trying to reason why that happens would just be sort of getting accustomed to a location. Yeah. But then when it's a location you've never been to before, Take and you're in the, it's it's the middle to... of the night and it's somewhere completely isolated, you go in there once and you come out and you go back in again. You, there's not really enough reason to suddenly be like, oh, it's fine no. now. No. Especially you after something's just happened. You should be expecting to have yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> That's so, the thing. Yeah. You, you build up this anticipation yeah. and this, you know, oh my God, I'm, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to feel different. Yeah. But you kind of like, hang on a minute. Like, no, I feel all right. Like, yeah. It's, Which it's really doesn't strange. Make, mentally, because then you make can, sense. you can go in another time thinking the same, oh no, it's going to be fine. And yeah. then you go in there and you feel, oh my God, like, no. Yeah. It's not a safe place, it's not a good place. Well, that's exactly what has happened so weird. Happens. Happens. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why, again, we thought, well, for... What was that? What was that? I don't know. No. Was it a butterfly? A leaf or something, isn't it? <laughs> it's on the net. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the floor. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Put that on the camera. That has just fallen down. <laughs> So go close so you can see it's a face. <laughs> What's that? Whose <laughs> face is that? <laughs> That's from a newspaper cutting. Let's have a look. <laughs> it kind of looks like your friend that was yeah. upstairs earlier. How weird was your friend? So thank you everyone for watching, like I say these will be coming out fairly regularly, just us sitting down chatting, sometimes in a living room, maybe sometimes in a beer garden, <laughs> but they, they will be coming, um, so keep your eyes open, like I say series 5, hopefully, um, full goes to plan, will be out about September, um, yeah, anything else guys? No. Wrapped up. Thanks for watching. <laughs>